The third reason why realtors keep turning you down is you're asking for marriage on the first date. You're coming on too strong, too early. You got to play hard to get, like we talked about. Keep them on their toes. Stop doing a show and tell, show up and throw up data dump of how awesome you are and how you're the best thing since sliced bread and how you got great rates and great service and you can do this and you can do that. Blah, 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 snoozeville. You've probably heard the saying, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you what, until they know how much you care. So start to bring that inquisitive curiosity and stop selling and start asking quality questions. You have two ears and one mouth. Use them proportionally and accordingly. Listen more, talk less. Ask quality questions. Listen, take notes. When we're nervous, what do we tend to do? We talk too much, right? We try and fill the gaps, blah, 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 blah. So if you want to sound and seem way more confident, stop talking so much. Get into the world. Be other person focused. Ask quality questions. Listen take notes. And that's where we teach here on Planet Prosper, the two-step method. So that's where the two-step method comes in, where you diagnose first, you prescribe second. Think about it. If you went to a doctor and you didn't even start to share what's going on for you, they just take out a pill and ram it down your throat. What would you call that? You would call that malpractice because they didn't even diagnose your issue before he tries to ram this pill down your throat. That is malpractice. It's the same thing here in your mortgage business. You showing up and giving a data dump is malpractice. It's coming on too strong. You don't even know if what you're offering is relevant to them. So instead, do the two-step method. Diagnose first, prescribe second. And when you do that, what you're going to find is you're going to have an amazing opportunity for connection because they love talking about themselves, right? That's their favorite focal point of conversation themselves. So let them talk about themselves and get them talking about themselves. Uncover their pain. What keeps them up at night? Where is their marketing engine losing steam? Where are they leaving money on the table? What are their goals and dreams? What's the gap between where they are and where they want to be? Until they buy their problem, they will not buy your solution. That's worth repeating. Until they buy their problem, they will not buy your solution. So always diagnose first before you prescribe. And the prescription is inextricably linked with an invitation. Why would you prescribe a solution unless you're inviting them to participate in what you have to offer? So by inviting them to be a VIP partner, that's part of a by invitation only exclusive privilege to be one of your VIP partners. So your solution is couched in exclusivity. That's the way you need to have it. But you need to start by showing up caring, curious, bring some concern, some empathy, right? They don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And then again, package your solution or solutions, plural, if you have more than one, I recommend a stack of awesome, a stack of tools, resources, value adds that help your realtors close more deals bring in more buyers, more sellers, work smarter as opposed to harder, monetize their database, convert more leads into closings, et cetera, et cetera. So you want to build a stack of awesome inside of your VIP partnership program, make it exclusive, make it by invitation only, and present your custom tailored prescription for what ails them that you learned in your first meeting. We call that the diagnostic or discovery meeting. And now you invite them to a second meeting we call a show and tell meeting. Remember in elementary school, how much we love show and tell? Show off our pet lizard or our pet dog or cat or whatever it was, right? Our chia pet, whatever it happened to be. It was exciting. It was exciting for us bringing the thing that we're sharing with our classmates. It was kind of exciting to see the thing too, right? As a recipient of the show and tell. Similar thing here. You're doing a show and tell And it should be exciting showing them all the cool things you offer exclusively to your VIP partners who qualify. And now you're showing them what you offer, but you're already a meeting deep into this process. Now they know you're not there just to sell them. You're there to vet them, to get connected to them, to lift up the hood and really get real about where they're at and where they want to be. And so once you provide the solution, It's a perfect hand-in-glove alliance between where they are 
and where they want to be to help them bridge that gap. And you want to enroll these top producing realtors as VIP partners. 